Jesus said in John chapter 10, verse 29, My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I'll say that again. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, watch this, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Jesus, building upon the statement that he made in verse 28, the fact that when we believe on him, we have, what, eternal life, with the promise that we will never perish. And he says, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand, eternally secure in Christ, once saved, always saved. He goes on to say in verse 29, my Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, greater than me, greater than you, and then he says, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. Now, people will resist the truth to no end and they'll argue, well, no man can pluck you out of the father's hand. I agree with that because that's what the Bible clearly states. But here's what they'll argue. Here's what they'll say. You can remove yourself from the father's hand. Wait a minute. Are you greater than God? You can remove yourself from God's hand once you're secure in Christ, once you're secure in the Father's hand. I thought the Father was greater than all. Isn't that what Jesus said? He said, my Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man. Wouldn't that include me? Wouldn't that include you? Did Jesus say no man is able except for yourself? He said no man. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. No man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Once you're in the hand, you are eternally secure. You have eternal life. You'll never perish. You'll never come into condemnation. You've been passed from death unto life. Stop fighting the truth, my friend. Once you are saved, the Bible is abundantly clear. You are always saved.